Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Conventicle, bringing you guys some more 2007 old school RuneScape. Before I get into the main topic for the video, as you can see, I'm using full melee void, just doing my slayer task, which is black demons with my new Zamorak God Sword. But this video isn't really going to be about my account at all, it's actually going to be about the old school RuneScape community and where it stands. A lot of things have been floating around and I'm going to be uploading a couple of crucial topics um, that I will be covering in the upcoming video. So if you like videos like this then be sure to stay tuned to my channel. But this topic right here has been floating around for a while and it just has recently picked up in people talking about it and that is adding the grand exchange to old school runescape and I feel like this is going to be a big step in evolution for the old school servers some people might love it some people might not like it but for the most part I'm thinking people will agree that it should be put into the game and today I'm going to be covering why the pros and cons of why I think it should be implemented in the game now first of all I thought it shouldn't have been implemented in the game and I'm actually uh, kind of glad that it didn't within the first couple months of this game's release we had more of a say in the prices and stuff like that and um, we were able to pretty much start off with a good economy for the game but as we continue to have just this trading and not a grand exchange and people are using bots in order to trade their items and merch um, the economy is seeming to get a lot worse Anytime I go bossing and get a drop like a Bandos Hilt or whatever, I feel guilty with helping this problem because we're just devaluing really um, good items that should be worth a lot more. Like the ZGS and the BGS are only 10 mil, and eventually everything else is going to fall too if this continues to happen. And also, we're going to need a lot more players in order to keep the economy good because. There is more supply for demand because there's not as many people joining the game every day. Um, at this moment we still have a good amount of people left but we may not have a lot of time before a ton of people start quitting because they realize the problems that this game has. So over the course in the next couple of videos I make besides the guides I may make which I will hopefully be getting to soon I know I haven't uploaded a guide in a while but Hopefully, um, Jagex will see these videos. I really doubt they will because I only have like 20 subscribers at the moment. But it would be great if you guys could spread the word just so you and some of your friends uh, can see the video and think about what you should vote for. Maybe we could get some polls going for these certain topics. But, anyways, I have stalled long enough, like three minutes, uh, just not even talking about um, the topic. But let's get into it so the pros and cons of having grand exchange in the old school servers the first pro we have is that you do not have to switch to world one every time you want to trade one item it is really annoying when you have to switch the link on your browser and have it say world one or maybe you're using a client like orion and you have to close the client and open it back up again in order to get to world one because if you just are in the game main menu and you go to the bottom left corner and you click on the world option it's always gonna say that world one is full unless you're lucky because it's like uh, 12 a.m. but it's usually full and you cannot click on it so you have to you know reopen your client or change the browser link um, in order to get to world one in order to just trade maybe one item that isn't even like that rare like if you want to trade like a rune bot plate body you have to switch to world one in order to sell that so that is gonna save people a lot of time in trading their things basically having the grand exchange will make trading a lot faster and over the course of these pros I give you you'll see why it is a lot faster so the next thing is you do not have to use an auto typer to compete at selling things it is really annoying when I have to keep pressing something like buy full guthans buy full guthans and I have to do that like 100 times before somebody finally comes up and sells it to me um, it's just a lot of work putting 
put into something that could be just done so easily and everybody else is using auto typers and I don't have one so um, it's really hard to compete at selling things usually I have to sell things for a lot less and buy things for a lot more which can get really annoying and have an effect on my bank so the next thing is you also don't have to use Zives to check prices for a certain item that you want to sell and also you don't have to use Zives to find somebody to sell that uh, uncommon item to like say if I was selling dragon scale dust I wouldn't have to go onto another website that isn't owned by Jagex in order to sell it so um, just having the grand exchange in the game I can instantly just plug it in and I don't have to do anything I just sit there and wait next thing is um, the ability to sell and buy things um, that are more uncommon will be a lot easier such as items for skilling and questing Having to get items for questing yourself can be really annoying. You have to travel around the entire world in order to get those items, and usually it takes longer than even doing the quest, just having to get the items required to do it. So that can be really annoying. Um, and also, you're not going to be like buying charcoal like from another player. You have to go and find it yourself and where it is and how to obtain it. So the next thing is you do not have to deal with bots manipulating the prices say I go in Zybes and the price for Darox is 3 mil then I go to World 1 and Varrock West and people who are bots are selling it for 4.5 mil and trying to manipulate the prices and scam people who aren't smart enough to go on Zybes which is really unfair so and basically those bots just sit there all day and make a ton of money off of people who don't know any better because they didn't check Zybes and they're lazy but um that would be a lot better plus who wants bots in the game only people who bought themselves next thing is you cannot scam using the grand exchange literally when I trade some somebody one third of them are bots another third of them are scammers and the last third is people who actually want to trade with me but usually put up a bullshit offer so basically those are all the pros of having the grand exchange in the game as you can see that's a good amount now let's get to the cons of having the grand exchange in the game first thing is prices on items um, will change a lot faster and this is just going to happen because people will be trading more because of how convenient it is to use the grand exchange the neck well that sometimes isn't a con but it can be at certain times if you buy something like Gotham's for 10 mil and then it just drops to 7 mil so the next thing that is a con is you can't merchant um, this is actually a pro to me but for some people it's gonna be a con and I understand that but it it is pretty bullshit to think that I'll spend like five hours doing green dragons and someone could who's level three could just merchant and make the same amount of cash as me in one hour the next con is there's gonna be less peer-to-peer -peer trading you're gonna be using a third-party system if you wanna call it that in order to trade so you can't really choose who you're gonna sell it to unless you actually find that person in game and trade it to them personally and the last con that we have that I would know of is players individually have less effect on the price. Um, this is going to be because you're going to be selling items a lot faster, which kind of ties in with the prices change a lot faster. Uh, but you cannot like just sit there yourself and um, sell Derox for like four mil and then expect to sell it, to sell it because people are using the Grand Exchange and selling it for three mil but that also could possibly not be a con so it's all about um, how what kind of player you are to how this grand exchange update would affect you I would say for most people who actually care about this game it's going to be a good update for but for those people who use bots um, and merchant this probably won't be a good update for them but let's think about the legitimate players who play this game and what they need and what's gonna keep them playing this game so tell me in the comment section below whether you guys would like the Grand Exchange to be added and why and that would be great I'll probably respond to your comments like I usually do and if you enjoyed this video which I'm pretty sure you did if you watch this far into it then please leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed Peace.